Well, there might be some lurking in your freezer, turkey or ham from Thanksgiving. Regardless of the holiday, you'll always have leftovers. Connie Cahill from Kroger is here with some ideas with what to do with them. Good morning. Thanks for Good being here morning. today. Always my pleasure. Thank yeah, you. So I know I already have I have ham in the freezer right now and I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. You're here to save the day for me. OK, well, you know, a lot of people are saying, why is it called a Buddha bowl? Well, this is kind of like, you know, the in thing. If it is. If you're sure. a Zen master, if you do right. a lot of yoga mm -hmm. and, and right. meditation. And like a healthy, I think people are going that direction for like a healthier lifestyle yeah. too. Yeah, and it, it balances out savory and sweet. There's mm -hmm. all sorts of different uh, flavor combinations sure. here. So you're absolutely right. If you've got some leftovers yes. still there in the freezer, this is the time to pull them out. It's okay. a great holiday kind of thing because it's quick and easy and you can just have yeah, it ready to go. Yeah, and nobody has time. No, no Nobody has time right now. Right. And you know what? <laughs> At our house, we don't have any leftover mashed potatoes. So that's yes. why I'm using We don't brown either. They always rice. go really fast, don't they? The mashed potatoes. Uh, yes. Always the first. So we start with brown rice. Okay. Brown rice. Mm -hmm. Prepare it however you want. Okay. You can even purchase it in the freezer case now. Really easy. And microwave it. Okay. Yes. So we're going to start with this. In a small skillet, what mm -hmm. I've done is I've just taken a little bit of some leftover turkey gravy. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you don't have any, you know, the jarred turkey greens are still a jar. out there. Yeah, yeah they're still out there. And this orange kind of color yeah, that you that? see there, that's a curry paste, a Thai curry paste. Mm. So again, going is it a back spicy to... spicy then? It's not too spicy. Okay. No, it's really not. So what I've done is just stir that up, heat that up, mm -hmm. and then I'm just adding the turkey slices, mm -hmm. all right, to that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that. So I Get think we're going to do a ham and a turkey. Let's do since it. Since I have both. Yes. So I'm going to let you go ahead and let's move this over so you can okay. do the turkey. Okay. I'll do the ham. And what we start out with then is also some roasted vegetables. If you okay. don't have any vegetables left over, again, from the holiday, yeah. uh, then just buy a bag of buy our mixed bag. vegetables. Pop it in the slip microwave. Slip them into the, well, I like to put them in the oven at about 450 oh. degrees. Okay. Really cook them, do a little bit mm -hmm. of a drizzle with balsamic vinegar okay. and some olive oil. Ooh, All right, and then they crisp up so you and can use And you've got what, like zucchini and broccoli, squash, yes. carrots. Yes, cauliflower. Cauliflower, exactly. all the good stuff, right? right. Okay, so, so I'm now, putting this on top so here. So I'm gonna show you how to build it. Okay. All right, so we take our ham, our turkey, or whatever. Put it mm. on the side. Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is take and put some veggies in another little spot. All right. Okay. So add your. Can I do my turkey? Add your now? turkey. Okay. Yep. So we've got, you know, we're kind of building a bowl here. All right. Can I use all of this? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's already got the sauce in it. Now, um, I'm a real cranberry person, so I okay. always have cranberries in my um, refrigerator Pantry and pan. Yep, yep, I do. And these are the fresh, so you know that you can freeze them and have them oh, from year to okay. year if you don't. Yes. So uh, to this cranberry sauce, then what I'm going to mm, do is add good. a little bit of some of sesame seed oil. Okay. All right, just about a mm, tablespoon. I'm okay. going to have you stir that up. You've got the good eye there. Um, I'm going to. Ah. Yep. Hot sauce. Yes. <laughs> More or less, depending Talking on what you want. Talking my language there. All right. And then some fresh sesame seeds. Oh, These fun. need to be kept in the freezer, another hint, OK? Really? Because they have oil in them, okay. I always keep them on the door of my freezer, the freezer or refrigerator and then pull them out and use them. Do you want some more? Do you have to let it sit out for a bit after the no, freezer? You no, just no, no, no. Oh, just okay. go ahead and yeah, sprinkle Yeah, I'll take some yeah. more in there. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do All it. Right. I'm okay. going to sprinkle a little bit over here. Really if you wanted to use like a sweet and sour sauce with the ham, you could do that okay. too. So it's, you know, totally up to you. You can build this bowl as you want. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, the okay, veggies Do I put that me, here on the side then? Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll have you there. do that for me. Yeah. And that's all we do. And if you're a total vegetarian, just do the Buddha bowl with a whole mixture of veggies. Yeah, or all right? you do like tofu or something. And so it's that. so, so simple. And a again, the flavor combinations. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more, I think, of the uh, <laughs> sesame seeds. You like seeds the sesame the seeds? I do. Just a it looks bit. nice yeah. too, doesn't it? All right, so dig in. All right, let's take a super let's try easy this turkey here. Mmm. Mmm. Getting it all over yeah. me. Yeah. This, mm. this is delicious. Mm. And the sesame seed oil mm. Mm -hmm. really, really gives it punch. That's delicious. Isn't hey. that yummy? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Of course, you've got dessert, right? You have dessert for us today? Always. <laughs> Stay Always. with us. We're going to do the sweet treats after the break. I'm going to 